Hey guys, so today I'm going to be testing out this instant hair wax. I have seen this ad and I'll play it for you guys everywhere on my Facebook, on my Instagram. I feel like I can't get away from it. Basically, this stuff is supposed to be sort of like a cream that you put on and it just kind of dries. That color washes out and it's not supposed to be greasy or look matted or anything like that. And it's supposed to also even work on dark hair. Obviously, I can't test that. But I can just test it in general to see if it works like it says and if it shows up and how well it dries and all of that sort of stuff. To be honest, I did not review this for a little while because I had a small protest going on within myself because one company that was selling this stuff was using one of my videos somehow to advertise with it. It would like, they would start my video, one of my old ones, the one where I dye my hair pink and I have like it all over my hands. They would start it off, play it for like five seconds and then cut to someone using this product. So they were using my video and my face essentially to try to like bring people in. And so after I looked into it a little bit more, I realized that this is basically like a wholesale item in a sense. You can buy this off of a bunch of different sites. I've seen so many different companies selling this. I bought this off of Amazon. A lot of the writing is in a language I do not understand. For what it does say on here, it has a little bit of writing. It says, hair coloring. Not to hurt the hair, easy to wash. No stiff, natural setting. This product is one-time hair, water soluble, non-greasy, natural matte, smell fresh and clean, has a distinctive three-dimensional hair layer, lines exceptionally dynamic, strong lasting shape, molding for hair shine, and bring significant unique personality. So, <laughs> so that's quite a bold claim. As you guys can see from like the ad, it's basically you just put it on your hair and it magically dries and your hair is magically that color for a little while. So I thought we would test it on my nice blonde hair that I actually did a bleach bath for today because I wanted to be blonde not gray anymore so we're gonna test it on mine. I got two different colors. I got a blue and a purple. If you're interested in this I will leave a link below. Also thank you to all of you that have tagged me on videos of this product. I definitely saw you and it and whoever is paying for that ad definitely made me see it every single day. So for the directions it says after the net hair typo maybe. Take a small amount of mud from the palm of your hand circling rubbing uniform. Try to get on your finger and then gently pull the finger form from the hair root from the bottom to smear evenly. And this is also supposed to not stain your clothes, not stain your hands. I am going to use gloves just because I don't feel like dealing with the mess. It almost smells like like a body wash, like a like a wintergreen body wash. That's what it smells like. So I guess I'll just take like a nice little chunk of my hair here. And I know they really want you to like, the whole thing is to like really smear it. So I'm going to really smear it. I think you need to heat it up because it's supposed to be like a wax, I think. That's what I've seen it advertised as, but I have not. I don't know how everyone's in the ads hair looks so like soft and stuff. For me, this looks like it's gonna be like very stiff. Okay. Yeah, it's staying almost straight out. Look at that. It's really stiff actually. So I think we let it dry. So I'm gonna open the purple one now. Now let's do the purple. It's not supposed to stain your hair at all but I am going to actually wash this out and then show you guys if it does stain because I know like when we tested the Provana like hair color changing stuff it did leave like a little bit of a tint even though it said it doesn't so this is actually kind of hard to work with it's like I feel like it's almost pulling my hair do you know what I mean like it's so stiff I'm gonna try to maybe brush it now <laughs> I keep watching the video that the company has because this hurts. Can you hear this? Ow. That's why in the video they're like cutting from like when you put it in to like where it's all nice and dry. I'm gonna like let it dry some more. Try to brush out this one now. I feel like my job is literally just to test all this stuff for everyone so they don't have to and risk their hair. 
So I'm thinking that maybe I let it dry too much before I brushed it and that's why it's so painful. So I'm gonna put some more in, but we'll brush it out a lot quicker. Sound good? Look at reliving the scene days. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna put a nice blue streak right here. Okay, blue, brush right away. It still hurts. I don't know what sort of like, when it's called instant hair wax, like who thinks it's a good idea to put any sort of wax in your hair? Or is that is that just me? Cause I don't, ow. I actually don't, ow. I don't feel like brushing it even right away does anything cause it's still gonna dry. There is no way those people in the ad use this stuff I think. There looks so soft. My hair, even like this one, it looks crunchy. You never want your hair to look crunchy. Okay, so I actually went and got a different brush because maybe it was like just that brush and it's it's a little bit better now, but it's still sticking together. I feel like no matter how I brush it with like this brush or with this brush, it just will not stop sticking together. And I feel like at this point it's dry. I also feel like it. you can tell it looks a little bit greasy. It definitely does feel a little bit greasy. It doesn't seem like it's transferring though, like as I'm touching it, it's not coming off of my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and just kind of like put some more on, cause why not? We're, we're committed at this point. I am also making sure I like really do it up in my hands cause it definitely seems like you need to like warm it up a bit, otherwise it won't like lather properly. Is that the word I'm looking for? Probably not. Is it just me or do I have such a scene look going on being like, okay, it doesn't feel as bad with this brush while it's wet. I feel like my hair, you know when you can tell when you haven't washed your hair in a, in a little while, you know, like you're going on like five days and you have like a lot of dry shampoo in your hair. I feel like that's how my hair looks, even though I washed it like two hours ago. So, you know, I might as well just like kind of commit at this point and just like, do a thing. I'm not sure what we're doing right now. Get a nice ombre going on here. It kind of feels heavy to be honest. Like this side of my head is just like, you know, do you know? No. So at this point, I'm really hoping that this does not stain or I'm in for a surprise. I think that's enough. Do you think this is enough to test it? I think so. A little bit of this stuff does actually seem to go a long way. Like you could probably do your entire head saying you had like as much hair as me like twice with this stuff. So maybe if you're just doing like streaks or some, or you're doing like a kid's hair or something that'd probably last you a good amount of time. Each one of these was like $14, I want to say. So it wasn't too bad. And I want to show you guys like my hair is not like naturally tangle your ass anything. I can like run my fingers through it fine. Not with this stuff in it. Like without this stuff, like with this stuff. It's not, it's not just my hair, I promise. So it could be me, but I feel like even if I had dark hair, this still wouldn't look that good. Like this stuff is so thick. Look, ready? I'm gonna scrunch it and it's gonna stay. If you've seen my Provana like color changing dye series, this stuff feels way thicker and heavier than that. With that stuff, I was at least able to like get a brush through my hair. This one I am struggling and I'm trying to do it as much as I can without actually ripping my hair out. So a couple instances where I feel like this could be useful. One, if you're trying to pick what hair color you want, I could see how this can give you like a pretty good idea with before you actually do it. Like I could do my whole hair blue and I could see it blue. I feel like this is also really good like if you wanted to do your kid's hair. I know some people are like super no on dyeing your kid's hair but if your kid wants like pink hair or whatever you know you could like put this in their hair you know it washes right out in one wash so you have nothing to worry about but they have their fun kind of like temporary tattoos you know like temporary hair color without like the semi-permanent part. Okay, overall, I feel like this stuff just looks and feels like I put dye in my hair and I never washed it out. Like, it's just so chunky. 
even brushing it out, it kind of like chunks back together and it is greasy feeling. Overall, I don't like this stuff and I don't even think it works like it shows in the videos because in the videos, it's like soft. It's like their regular hair. It looks just, the color's different and here it's, you can obviously tell, like no matter what I do, it's not gonna look like how it normally does, just a different color. So I'm actually gonna go wash this stuff out and then I will update you guys if it washed out and stained or if it's completely washed out and so on. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back and it's all good aside from my makeup being literally like half off. It came out super, super easily with just water it was out pretty much even before I shampooed my hair, so that was good. I don't see any bit of staining or anything like that in my hair. Since my hair is pretty warm right now because I just stripped all the toner from it, if the purple or the blue were to tint in, I, I would have definitely be able to see. If you have a use for it and you want to use it, then I would say use it, but if it was something you're iffy on, definitely I would say it's a no-go. But let me know what you guys think down below or if there's any other weird hair stuff you want me to do for you so you don't have to. I'm your girl. Just let me know. Please give this video a like for putting my hair through this stress today. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will hopefully see you next time. Bye. So as I'm sitting here, literally this moment, you guys are seeing this video a day after. I think I'll be putting this up tomorrow, so I'm filming this the day before. Persephone would like to just tell you that I just hit 100k subscribers! Thank you guys so much for wanting to come back and see videos like almost day after day. And I recognize so many of you that comment that on multiple videos and just thank you guys so much. This is so exciting! Aren't you excited? Also, if you're wondering what she is, I did a DNA test on every single one of my dogs and I'm waiting on the results and I'll do a video after I get them all in. Are you done with me? Okay, I'll put you down.